train the muscles, not the joints. Welcome back to Natural Goal Line Bodybuilding. And today I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about tapping into a deeper energy source. Now, this is one of those deep thoughts videos, right? Where I'm really talking about bodybuilding and training and, and working out, but at the same time, just watching a phenomenon that happens as you continually show up to do physical exercise. And this is something that many of you are probably aware of, uh, or maybe you're not conscious of it, but once I mention it, you'll probably say, hey, you, you know what, I actually recognize that in myself. I've actually noticed that. So one of the reasons why I talk about frequent training and, and higher frequency and stuff is, is because of this principle. It's because what I've noticed is that there is something deeper underneath all of the other variables that, that plays a massive role in continually showing up and, and getting results from the gym. And it's almost like an energetic pump before, or that happens before the muscular pump happens. Now, I'll just explain further. It's not about burning yourself out or training too often or training too much. I'm not talking about that, but what I'm talking about is that when you continually show up and exert some sort of effort, you're moving blood flow around and therefore stoking the fires of the creation of energy itself within you. So it's almost like, uh, I just watched a car actually, this old Alfa Romeo or something like that, and somebody was warming it up. And as it was getting warmer and warmer in this cold weather and this wind, it started to run more smoothly. And it's in alignment with that where when your body is continually moving or at least priming itself, it starts to become perpetually in movement without you having to start the fires every time or basically do an extended long warm up and then basically get your body into the action from inaction to action. So I guess what I'm saying is that you're constantly in action, even if it's subtle action or maybe not very intense action. So therefore, when you want to get intense in the gym, then you can show up and get very intense. Now, over the long run, I find that I get more energy from this, more vitality from this, because the basis of training itself isn't necessarily growing the muscles, but it starts with something deeper than that, which is constant blood flow making sure that the blood is flowing everywhere, making sure that the energy is flowing everywhere, and therefore, it's, it's like priming a pump. So then when you go to exert yourself, when it comes down to lifting heavy and stuff, you're already ready for it. It's not like it's this big shock to the system. So that's one of the reasons why I feel that frequent training works very well for a lot of natural bodybuilders is because you're priming that pump to a certain point. So sometimes you're doing light weights, sometimes you're doing extremely low volume workouts, but then when you show up to really exert yourself, your body is already ready, you know what I'm saying? And at the same time, you already have the energy flowing. So you don't have to get the motivation to train. It's, it's like the energy is already moving in that direction. It's like, it's, it's kind of like one of those things where you're perpetually in a second wind <laughs> phenomenon, right? So there's a lot of wind out here today. I don't mean it that way, but, but you know, once you start training, you ever went to the gym and you're really tired and then once you start going, then all of a sudden this energy seems to come out of nowhere where you have this energy. What I'm saying is that you can ride that wave by perpetually moving a little bit every day. And instead of actually going into hibernation mode and then coming out and then training and then hibernation mode, like some people talk about, like, oh, you won't recover, you won't recover. Like, I found that sometimes doing too much rest, I, I don't recover as well as active rest, which means you're doing some sort of movement or some sort of form of movement, or maybe even the same exercises that you're doing already, but you're doing them lighter. And I find that I actually recover better in a lot of cases from that sort of scenario. Now, of course, there's exceptions to every rule, but, but what I will say is that I've noticed that when you train with the motivation of feeling yourself into this deeper energy and, and feeling yourself into how do you stoke the fires of that energy first and foremost, you'll notice that you're more motivated to train and you'll notice that you, you just naturally start to show up to the gym more often and naturally start to get more results because of it. It's, it's not necessarily just a numbers thing. You're not just looking at numbers of how much you lifted or, or how many reps you got. You're, you're noticing that just the movement for the sake of movement itself can lead you to those numbers increasing over time. But you always have the energy to show up. And when you show up more consistently, that's one thing I've noticed. When you show up more consistently, results are just an eventuality, right? So yeah, this is something for you to watch, to become conscious of. Uh, that's really what this, this big gift of bodybuilding is, is that you can become conscious of these forces within you, of how this energy moves, how you feel, how, 
Like what's, what's going on inside, not just in the muscles, but what's going on with the underlying energy source that drives the entire bodybuilding thing, right? Which drives the entire workout thing, which, which drives the entire physicality. And by doing this, you can start moving with it instead of against it, you know what I'm saying? So you can start uh, stoking the fires of that motivation. And, and from doing so, you, you'll notice that it's just easier to show up to train. It's just easier to get motivated to train. It's just easier to, to eat properly it, because this consciousness, this awareness that's taking you deeper is the, the thing driving the entire show, right? So yeah, I hope this helps you in your training. I hope it helps you become more inspired about the awareness path that you're on with this bodybuilding thing. And this is where bodybuilding becomes an incredibly exciting path in that way because it forces you into an expanded level of awareness and consciousness. So, so yeah, I hope this helps you out in your training. Thanks a lot for watching. If you need to get help, just go to naturalgolampbodybuilding.com and thanks to the Patreon supporters and take care for now. Mountain. You can't see my, my mountains through the jacket, but trust me, they're there. They're, they're huge. They're like massive. That's why I like covering up in the winter. I don't want to scare people, you know. It's, it sucks when I don't get a chance to wrestle monsters in the woods because they're intimidated. In the summertime, I wear jackets and stuff, they get intimidated. But in the wintertime, I find because I can cover up, you know, there's a good chance that some sort of troll or barbarian or, or Sasquatch or mountain man or whatever will come out of the woods and then I can just, you know, pummel the crap out of him because he's not intimidated at first. He's intimidated after. Yeah, so I'll just wait here for a bit. Nobody here yet. Man, do I look too big in this thing or what? Ah, uh, shit. Guess I'm gonna have to wear a bigger jacket.